A number of the items that are displayed here were manufactured here in Shippensburg. We have a chair here that was made by B.J. Snotty, and it is referred to as Snotty Chairs. And his, uh, his business was just right across the street in Little West of here near the Branch Stream. The ones on the left side here were made by Valentine Rudolph from 1867 to 1888. And the ones on the right were made even earlier by John Carey, 1817 to 1865. And you can see that angel food cake pan is really fancy for that being that early. This pump was manufactured at Domestic Pump, and they're still out, out at the end of North Queen Street near the university and behind the Catholic Church. But this was their 1907 model. And this was a big deal because earlier hand pumps, you had to pump and pump to get water, and you had to sometimes pour water into prime. But this was a self-priming pump. It kept up a pressure. So a couple pushes to the handle, and you had water. So this was a big, a big item in 1907. We have a quilt here that was made in 1888 by the Geiger sisters. And this picture above the fireplace depicts the Hotel Sherman, which was originally known as the Union Hotel. But when Lee's army was on its way to occupy the town, uh, the citizens were afraid the name Union Hotel might offend the Confederates. So they painted over it and called it the Sherman Hotel. Now, this was before Sherman made his march to the sea. I think Sherman was just a local name. Well, this building burned in the early 60s. And this bench used to sit in the lobby of that building, and that was the one thing they were able to save out of the old Sherman House Hotel was this bench. This was manufactured by Boren Hotsfeld in 1921, and you can tell it's a quality piece, it's, you know, the way the doors work. It's really a nice piece of furniture. And then we have items here. This clock was made by Joseph Slichter, and the desk over here was made by Oscar Martin. That's back when individuals actually made things. <laughs> 